So, when animals become livestock and are treated as a commodity instead of an individual, we change our fundamental assumptions about the responsibility that we have towards their well-being. The rights of animals now defined by specific terms at specific points in a process. Bear in mind these animals don't have the basic rights such as living out their life to its end or even anaesthetic for the uh, number of awful mutilations that they endure during their life cycle. But when we work from a baseline of animals not being a someone but being an object, they're treated as such and we end up with ghastly situations such as that which we have at the moment. Clearly, being treated as cargo and not as individuals with the capacity to suffer. We have 2,500 cows aboard two vessels that have been denied pork because of an outbreak of illness of the disease blue tongue among the livestock. The ships initially set sail on the 18th of December and have been waiting since with no veterinary care to tend to the sick and with a very obvious crisis of resources. These animals at this point will be desperate, starving, thirsty, surrounded by their dead and dying family and friends. This hideous circumstance is entirely legal and without anybody having a responsibility to do anything to help them really, despite the fact that they did not themselves willingly board the vessel, the humans who put them in this situation are not really responsible for making the situation any better for them. There are regulations on um, live animals in transit, but as at the moment, they're not in transit, they're anchored, and so they can stay out there for as long as it takes us. You can only imagine the terror this is, this is a huge ethical error. And it's an error inherent in a system that treats individuals as though they were cargo. It's not a one-off incident. Remember that there have been multiple issues with transporting animals at sea. Probably a lot of us will remember um, a ship back in 2019 with 14,000 sheep aboard that uh, capsized. Um, as it was later revealed, it capsized because the boat had a secret extra deck that was full of e so it was, I mean it was more than fourteen thousand sheep on board in fact um but the ship as the ship had an extra deck built into it to sneakily transport extra cargo apparently um which caused it to be overloaded and for the ship to capsize and as a result of this um cruel industry treating animals as though they were cargo and not individuals, and the human greed. 14,000 sheep drowned at sea. All of the ship's workers were rescued, but I think only uh, only around 100 odd sheep ended up being rescued that were found sort of swimming, but the rest were trapped in the ship and drowned. This is horrible. And the situation with the cows is absolutely disgusting and needs urgent remedy. But it shouldn't be regarded as one unfortunate incident. It should rather be regarded as exactly what happens when we deny basic rights to individuals. It's a necessary attitude to take towards animals if you're going to rob them of rights. There is a much bigger picture than what you pick up in the supermarket, than what you take out of a fast food restaurant. This was someone I, I wouldn't expect that these animals are going to end up being slaughtered and eaten due to the disease outbreak on the ship, but it should make you uncomfortable to imagine that what you eat for dinner might have been on its own sad pilgrimage and have at some point been a someone existing as food potential. If this situation seems wrong to you, don't support it.